making. We all have our places we go um, to, to further our connection with God, um, places we pray, maybe it's when you're driving or you know, you're going to work, whatever. But for me, it's when I'm outside in the garden. I know some of you know that I, I love being outside, I love gardening, you'll get it. Um, my favorite thing that I grow over the course of time has become native flowers. I don't know if any of you ever uh, get into it or not, but just for reference, native flowers, it's those weeds that grow in the ditches on the side of the roads that you all spray and kill and mow and weed eat over. I love them and I grow them everywhere. I didn't used to, but I, I love to I grow everything. And I realized that I didn't have any bees in the yard and that was a problem when I first started gardening and I needed to figure out how to get some. So I learned native plants are the way to go. And over the course of time, um, it's uh, they've become therapeutic for me to go outside and to plant them, to watch them, and to, to get any kind that I can to grow in my yard because they're really fascinating. Society tells us that they're weeds and they make killers, right? Spray. Uh, things you can put on them to get rid of them, but it's really tough to get rid of them once they're established in your yard because, fascinating fact, their roots, they grow to be six to 15 feet deep. So once one starts to grow, it's really hard to get rid of it, and there's a reason for it. It's because they're adapted to this area. They're, they're meant to grow here. And they provide so much benefit to the insects and the ecology of the environment that we need them. And when I watch them grow throughout the year, you know, some bloom really early in the spring and then they die off before others are even starting to come out of the ground. So from like March to November, there's something always blooming. For a reason, because the insects need them. Without them, we wouldn't have fruits and vegetables and the things that we love. So I guess when I, when I look at the plants, I realize just, you know, Ecclesiastes tells us for everything there is a season. And just like the native plants, they all have their own season to grow and to bloom and to flourish and to provide and to give back. And The great thing about them is when one's done blooming, there's another one to take its place. And some are tall and beautiful, and when you notice them and you want them in your yard, and the other ones, like the ones that you call weeds, you don't really want them there, but they're just as important. And so, there's times where you may feel like you're a weed, <laughs> but you're not. Because everybody, you know, wherever you are in your life, everybody has purpose. And your seasons are all going to be different. Sometimes you're blooming. Sometimes you're depending on the help of someone else to do the jobs for you. But the really important thing is that when, you're, when your roots are deep and your foundation and your love in Christ is strong, no matter what season of life you're in, even if you just need to rest for a while, you're, the roots are there and you're going to come back and thrive and be strong. Um, and I know it seems like a really nerdy way to get about things, but that's how my mind works. In Ecclesiastes 12, it says, I know there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. So I know that no matter what season we're in, there's a purpose for each of them. And with the help of all of our, what their, our friends, we can accomplish the goals that God put us here for.